Last week on Life on Jupiter, we picked up some bargain solar panels and headed back to Grenada. And now for the installation. I'm Princess and I'm a lounge singer. I'm Jamie and I fly aeroplanes. We decided to take a year off and go sailing. But thanks to COVID, now we spend our life on Jupiter. Welcome aboard and join us on our circumnavigation. After picking up our solar panels, we were headed back to Grenada just to buy some bits and pieces we needed to install them. And thankfully, our screecher furler and new whisker stays were working beautifully. Now I was on the hunt for some strong aluminium angle to make brackets for the solar panels. This was actually quite hard to find at a reasonable price. So I don't know if you have trouble with Sikaflex always drying out and going hard. This has still got... There's the stopper, so there's still that much Sikaflex here. It's too expensive to throw away, so I, I make a new nozzle every time. After cutting up some aluminium angle, I marked it and measured it carefully and glued them down on the deck so that the panel would sit snugly. Next came the wiring runs. I might actually do a different thing. But you just make a hole. No, I make a bigger hole because um, I was trying to make it fit exactly so there was no splash coming through. But I've got to have two of these anyway, one for the other side. So I think I'll just make one big round hole. So I've tacked, tack glued the, uh, the wiring in place. And so tomorrow, we'll, when that glue's dry, we'll clean up all the excess ugliness. And then I'll use Sikaplex up in there to keep it secure. But I don't think I can play with this anymore today until this glue is dried. So I'm just about to start uh, installing the solar panels on the davits. I'm just going to have two in a row, so they'll be about three meters long across the top of the davits on an adjustable up and down, so I can change the angle and point it towards the sun. But first, I need to remove the Iridium Go antenna, relocate that somewhere else. And the Dan Boy, relocate that somewhere else. But for now, I'm going to start making some brackets. 
cutting some aluminium. to have made a, a better frame but I just can't get this angle here on the island I can but it's crazy expensive so uh, I'm gonna see how this goes I'm hoping it'll be strong enough and then it'll be lighter than expected so. My idea is to have a pivot not exactly in the middle because if the adjuster arm fails or gets loose then it may easily just hang down that way whereas if I put the pin off center I want it to always sit that way and it can't fall very far. That's my idea. I'm not sure I need to do that, but that's the plan. So let's do that. Almost done, and it says it's not too big, you know, if we'd had four here, it would have been a huge sail. But this is a, tolerable in a storm, it's an, you know, the wind should not affect this too badly. Once we brace it, brace it up. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> nice. And that's all for tonight. One panel connected. So, finally finished the solar panel install. We've got uh, these new ones on the four decks, one each side. Uh, decided to put them here because they're out of the way. I mean, there's no need to walk here very often. There's plenty of room to get past it. Uh, I did consider putting it up on the bows, but of course sometimes you, you don't want to walk on the tramps all the time. There's a seam here and sometimes the stitching breaks, you know. So if you can walk on the hard deck, you do. And if I did need to get over here, you know, you could take a line or whatever you need to do. You can still get to the side deck, no problem. So all I did to mount them these uh, four little angles of aluminium, sicker flex to the deck, 
in each corner and one rivet is all that's holding it. Because of the curvature of the deck, there's an air gap under there, so some wind can get under to keep the panels cool. Uh, but being as flush as possible to the deck, it keeps it streamlined. In fact, when you look from far away at the boat, you don't even notice this. So these two are the, the original ones that I had from the beginning. They are 250 watts each or 500 watts. Uh, yeah, just not enough. Uh, this is the rainy season here in Grenada. Um, there's always a rainy season, there's always clouds, and there's always shading from the mast, from the shrouds. The ones on the side deck, you know, got staunchions and lifelines going past. So you never do get full efficiency out of your solar panels because of the shading or the clouds. So come and I'll show you the new back one. So on the davits, uh, I've got these two, 170 watts each again. Uh, and again, you get shading issues. Now, the Bimini shades this one until about now. What time is it? Uh, nine o'clock in the morning? So, the Bimini has just stopped shading that. So, it's starting to get sunlight on it now. The antenna for the Iridium needs to see the sky and I haven't found a better place that's the end the end of the antenna cable is there I, it's everything's a compromise yes that's gonna shade it a little bit until maybe 10 o'clock you know so you just have to put up a shading sometimes that's why you need more solar panels than you think <laughs> because they're not 100 percent efficient uh, these ones I put a swivel so that I can move them best angle right now it's in the best angle position but I'll just show you so we can rotate when the Sun's in the other direction come and I'll show you the the amps going into the battery it's, uh, it's actually only about 8.30 in the morning, but yeah, sun's still very low, it's cloudy, going past. Uh, we've got 30 amps going in to the batteries. Uh, we always sit on using about 10 amps because we're running two fridges, the inverter is always on, things are powered up. So it's actually about 35 amps going in there now. Uh, we, yesterday, the most we've seen so far is about 55 amps going in. Um, Theoretical maximum is about 84 amps for this amount of power. Um, so yeah, I had to beef up my feed cable yesterday when I I feel it getting quite hot, so I had to put in a ba basically it's a battery cable now. <laughs> so yeah, very happy with the amount of power now. Um, just means we don't have to run the engine. Uh, if we were to get three days of cloudy uh, prior to this, we would be running the engine for a few hours to top up the batteries. So now we can put up with some cloudy and uh, I think we're going to be good. I like it. Stay tuned for next week and we'll show you the social highlights of Grenada.